Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix VC runtime error with origin games on your computer. So the first step is to run DX setup and VC Redis file. So go to this location and open your game folder. So go to this PC, open program files x86, open origin games folder, then open the game folder. So in my case, I have installed the game in D drive. Now open the game folder. For example, I'm opening the Epix folder. Then open the installer folder. And then open DirectX folder. Open the Redis folder. Scroll down. And here you can see the DX setup folder. Make a right click, then click on run as administrator, then click on yes to allow. Accept the agreement, then click on next, next, and let the installation complete. Now, once the installation is complete, go back, and this time, open the installer folder, then open the VC folder, then open all the VC folders. And then open the Redist folder and then make a right click, then click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow. And let the installation complete, click on next. Click on finish, go back, do the same thing with the second VC folder, Redist folder, then open this one, run as administrator, click on yes to allow. Repair or install whatever you see. And then go back. And do the same thing with other VC folder and run both the file as administrator. Click on yes to allow, install or repair whatever you see. If you receive any kind of error message, just ignore it and let the installation complete. And after you run all the file, go ahead and restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Now still you are facing the problem, in that case you can go ahead and disable the origin in-game overlay. So open origin on your computer. Now go to the library and then click on the game. And then click on this settings icon. Go to game properties and then uncheck the option which says enable origin in-game for Apex Legend. Uncheck this, then click on save and then try to launch the game. So that's it. Go ahead and fix the error. Now, if nothing is working, then you can go ahead and install the Visual C file. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website, and here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19. Install both x86 and x64. So make sure that you install both the version x86 and x64 and once the installation is uh, once the download is done run the exe files click on repair or install and scroll down and here you can see visual studio 2013 so click on this link and scroll down and install both x64 and x86 so you can go ahead and select the language and Run the, uh, download the exe file, scroll down in x86 and run all the files. Once the down, uh, installation is done, close this window. So make sure that you run all the file, click on repair or install, repair or install. And once the installation is done, you can close this window. Close it and once that is done, click on the power icon and then restart your computer and then try to launch the game. So one of the steps should definitely help you to get rid of this error. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.